shouldn't have let Var... When a clockwork apostle discovers an unexplainable phenomenon, it can be a moment of unbounded joy or utter terror. That strange portal over there definitely falls into the second category. Portals aren't a common occurrence in the clockwork city. When Acolyte Varia and I approached to investigate, I had a sudden urge to leap inside. I was able to resist its pull, but Varia stepped through the portal and hasn't returned. I need to make sure no one else wanders into the portal. But maybe you could go in and find Acolyte Varia. This perception tabulator automatically records whatever you experience and should be able to locate my associate. Take it and use it well. Step into the portal when you're ready. The perception tabulator will locate Varia and lead you back to Clockwork City after you complete your investigation. I'll study the phenomenon from out here and make sure no one else enters the portal. Mysterious? I would say it falls more into the suspicious category, what with the fact that it tried to lure me inside. Anyway, we were patrolling this quadrant of the radius and when I noticed the portal out of the corner of my eye. The great gear turns in my favor for a change. You have a perception tabulator. Did Adjunct Daro send you to find me? Of course he did. Listen carefully, and there might still be time to realign this befouled contraption. That should be the least of your concerns. If you don't do exactly what I tell you, you'll end up like me. Then who will protect the Clockwork City from this oblivion infestation? You need to destroy the Shadow Array. Some foul device that Night Sister Chimera uses to lure people into the Shadow Cleft and bind them to these scarecrows. If you can destroy it, we'll be set free. Without the Shadow Array, Nocturnal's plans will be set back or even foiled completely. Not so loud. 
Nocturnal has ears everywhere. She's one of the Daedric Princes. They aren't supposed to be able to breach the Clockwork City's defenses, but nothing works properly anymore. Hurry! You must destroy the Shadow Array! Feels like I've been protecting this field for hundreds of years. But I'm certain I just entered this realm a day or so ago. What an odd question. I spotted a portal that should not have been there, and I entered it to see where it led. I determined that this shadow cleft is part of the Everglow. How I wound up trapped in a scarecrow, well, that's still somewhat hazy. You've never heard of the Everglow? It's the Oblivion Realm that belongs to Nocturnal, the Night Mistress. I'm sure this Shadow Cleft represents some sort of attack on the Clockwork City, but there's only so much I can determine in my current state. I see you have one of our perception tabulators. Continue your investigation and make sure that device gets into the hands of a Clockwork Apostle. Be careful. If you end up infused with a scarecrow, then everything you learn will be lost. you interrupt my vigil? What nonsense impels you to such a rash and impetuous action? You dare question the sacred duty that has been placed before me? I'll have you know I'm a... I'm a... What am I doing here? What is this place? I remember coming to the Clockwork City when a teleportation ritual went awry. I was looking for a way out when I noticed a strange portal appear in the radius. It... it called to me. Next thing I know, I'm standing guard over this empty field. I remember that you interrupted my vigil. If my attention wavers for even a moment, those crows will take advantage and strip this field to the ground. Leave me! There are secrets in the dark and the night is here! City and let Daro know what you learned.
returned. I must admit, I wasn't sure you'd be able to do that. Do you have the perception tabulator? And what of Acolyte Varia? Were you able to locate her in there? Dead? Shadow Array? I, I suppose the perception tabulator will explain everything. I'll study it right away. In the meantime, take this. A little something for helping the Clockwork Apostles today. <laughs>